Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to OAS News. I'm Miss Carter. And I'm Miss Hampton. We're here to discuss if McDonald's does sell cheeseburgers. Apparently, this helps us divide. Wow. Let's go to our correspondent in the field, Miss Salheaver. Miss Salheaver? I hope I help you. Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? <laughs> Do we sell cheeseburgers? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Oh, good. Can I get one <laughs> cheeseburger, please? <laughs> Salheaver. Apparently they do sell cheeseburgers. Now to the weather. It's got rain. Hey guys, it's Miss Hampton. Uh, we are going to review a fourth grade skill today, which is dividing whole numbers with one digit divisors. Um, so just the process behind that. So you just watched a little intro that reminded you of the um, little phrase you should have remembered from fourth grade, which is does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? We'll help you remember the steps to long division. So I'm going to write that over here to the side. Does McDonald's sell cheese burgers? And that'll help me remember the steps as I go. So the problem I'm going to model for you today is 3,285 divided by 9. So notice when I, when I write this, I space my number out. I don't squish it all together. That kind of helps me line up my place value positions and not do anything funky. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to list my multiples of 9 to the side, just in case I don't know those facts. Um, I'm going to list it only up to 9 because I'm not going to need to go past that. So I'll say 9 plus 9 more is 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81. And there's really no sense in going to 10 because I'm only going to be dividing with one digit. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of cover up um, my division problem, so I'm only looking at one digit at a time. So I'm going to think, how many times can 9 fit into 3? If I go over and look at my multiples of 9, it doesn't, all of these are larger than 3, so it's not going to fit. So on top of the 3, I'm going to put either an X, or you can put a 0, because it fits in 0 times. So now I'm going to look at 32. How many times will 9 fit into 32? I can go look at my multiples of 9. 9, 18, 27, 37. <laughs> Thanks, Ms. Carter. <laughs> Uh, 36 is too big, so I'm going to go back down to 27. So 9 fit into 32, 1, 2, 3 times. So now my next step, multiply. I'm going to take 9 times 3, which was 27, I just figured out, and put that underneath 32. It's my multiply step. So I've now done division, I've done multiplication. Now comes our subtraction step. I'm going to see how much do I have left between 32 and 27. So I'll do my subtraction. Regroup. 12 minus 7 gives me 5. And I end up with a remainder of 5. Now, this is an important step now, the C. It stands for compare. A lot of people skip it, and a lot of people make mistakes. So at the, when you get to this point after you've subtracted, you want to compare your remainder, I have 5 left over, to your divisor 9. As long as 5 is less than 9, you should be good. If you find that your remainder here is equal to or greater than 9, then you didn't do your division correctly. It could have gone in more times. So 5 is less than 9, so I'm good. So I've done compare. And my last step is going to be to bring down my next digit, which in this case is 8. So I'm going to bring down 8. And I've got 58. And we start all over. That was bring down. We start all over. Now how many times can 9 fit into 58? I'm going to look at my 9s again. I count all the way until I get over 58, which would be 63. That won't fit. So I'm going to go back down here to 54. Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. 9 fits into 58 6 times. That's our division step. Then multiplication. 6 times 9 gave me 54, I decided earlier. That's multiplication. Now subtract, see how much I have left over. I subtract, no regrouping necessary, I end up with 4. Don't forget the important step of compare. Is 4 less than 9? Yes, so I'm good. And then we're going to bring down our last digit, 5. All right, we're going to do this one more time. How many times will 9 go into 45? Oh, look, it's right there. Nice. goes in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So 9 times 5 gives me 45. That's my multiplication. And when I subtract, I end up with my nice remainder of 0. I compare, of course that's less than 9 because it's 0. And there's nothing to bring down, so this is the end of my problem. And my answer is always up here. So 9 
or 3,285 divided by nine gives me 365. A great thing to do too, especially when this is with a one digit number, is come over to the side at the end, take your quotient, your answer, multiply it by your divisor. And if you get your dividend here, your 3,285, then you know that you're right. And this is usually a little bit easier to do than the long division, so you can catch some mistakes that you might do. And handy dandy, you have your nines written over here, so you don't even have to worry about it. So 9 times 6 is 54, plus 4 is 58, 9 times 3 is 27, plus 5 gives me 32. So 3,285, it matches my dividend, so I know that I'm right. All right, guys, um, I'm going to give you one problem to practice on your own. Uh, you can do this on the left side of your notebook, or... Um, you can do this on the left side of your notebook, or you can just do it on a piece of scratch paper. Make sure that you, um, if you have a Google form to enter this on when you're done, then you'll have that. So the problem you're going to try on your own is 1,875 divided by 3. Good luck. Why are we staring like this? <laughs> Cut it. <laughs> okay, and we're done. All right.